subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! Right guys, so it's Friday, we're back. We are going to be doing events again today. First up is logger pressers. Let's go. And quickly, before we go, as you know, we stole the new zippy hoodie is out as we well as the tracky bottoms. Please buy, please give back, and please keep buying. Right guys, that's the metal log warm up stand, so we warmed up to 130 kilos in that. Um, the wooden one weighs 140 kilos, so for Tom and I to go on to 140 kilos straight away wouldn't be very wise. So we warm up, make sure we're nice and warmed up, then do some warm ups to the 140, and then we'll add the weights up to our working set and see how we get on. Did your session with Ross help you with the lockouts today? One more, one more. Guys, what move is that that Luke is doing? Is it called the butterfly, the breaststroke, front crawler, back crawler? <laughs> Mobility feels a lot better today, um, which is good. So Ross stripped my right lap down, um, so just my lap's tight. It's, I'm not able to get further back in the lockout, so I can get my my arms further back now, so it's good. Um, that's the benefit of having someone like Ross come in and kind of work with us. He really knows what he's doing, and he's, he's a, a sports physio. Um, so there's physios, there's massage therapists, etc., etc. But when you're trying to optimise the your performance, you need a sports physio. So. That's what Ross does, he works with sports people, athletes, strong men, footballers, etc, etc. So we thank you Ross for working on us. You're a lifesaver. How are your logs are going mate? Yeah I feel good, um, just have to stay aggressive, first rep was good, second rep a bit wobbly, third rep was good so confidence that 180 is moving like that so I'll be more consistent now and not saying that I can't, that my left hand is weak and stuff like that, it's a whole, although I'm getting specialist work I had have to now get my mindset to that kind of, yeah my grip's the strongest in the world kind of thing like I do with stones and stuff so everything is going Yab dabba gulu. There's only bar here. <laughs> Uh, 
missed the one night, but everything feeling good is just off balance a bit, so I'm going to retry it and see if I can do it. See you at the bottom. Aggression. That is all you need to be a good log lifter. Aggressive. How are they going mate? Good, that was a bit of a better set, so that's it kind of warmed up now, everything's firing. First two reps really good, third rep, just need to take an extra couple of breaths to get those, just that, that oxygen back in my body, um, so I don't have to strict press the third one, so uh, yeah, feeling good, one more set, biggest long, long sessions I think I've done, so yeah, happy. How do you prepare your mind for going into a heavy log session like this? I don't necessarily prepare it, but I know I'm the best log presser in the world. Just like Tom knows he's the best stone lifter in the world, so me going into this, it's still not a heavy log, but it's the, the repetitions, it's the, the volume we're doing, so it's just being able to get me or my mind to stay aggressive in that aggressive environment or mentality i think that's what you have to do is for that minute whatever you're doing the event for stay aggressive every movement you do is aggressive so sometimes you see me slapping my leg when i go up to the log that's like that's time for me to switch on that's in that aggressive mode so controlled aggression and kind of staying there because it can be quite quite taxing in your head if you stay there for too long but now i'm happy I'm like Luke Stockman. <laughs> Just put some more hair He's on. He's not like not. I should How's his logs looking? How's Tom's? Yeah. That one was amazing, yeah. That was his best rep by a country mile. Tom's biggest enemy is his head. So if, if Tom can get, so what was talked about earlier, that aggression, No, it's going to be tough, No, it's going to be hard, but if he puts everything into it, all his aggression, all his strength, then it's going to be easier. So rather than him go like that, go here, and then it's more of a tricep lockout, if he really throws his legs into it, every ounce of his body to f boom! Aggression.
progression is the key. As well as consistency training, good diet, good recovery. Vlog was good today. Heaviest volume session I've done, 193 threes. So it's quite good, everything's on track now to, to kind of, you know, hit that max log whenever it's up. So feeling good. We're done in the gym now. We're going up to the warehouse. See how it goes. It's Friday, it's events day. We've got our amazing yoke made by Richard Looney. We weighed it there, it's 200 kilos, pretty much bang on. So we're loading it up to about 400 kilos today. Doing a couple of runs with that, and then we've got frame, some loading, some stones to finish off with. And then that's us done. It's time for the weekend. You can get drunk on the weekend because it's in Scotland and the pubs are open. You drinking? Me neither. So, it's 400k runs today, but I'm just going to do pickups all the way up to 400 just to not waste energy and can get it done quicker as well. You know what they say about that? Check up a Google. So, as Tom and I are a little bit different in stature, Tom is about 20 inches taller than me. It's set at Tom's height just now, so when I pick it up, it still comes off the ground, but it's just a little bit too um, high, or the, the bottom the bottom of the yoke's too low for me to run with. So I'll just do a pick up with 300, um, probably 300, 340 or 350, and then go into a run with 400 back, there and back again. And that's us, working smarter, not stupider. That yoke looks massive. Any six. How does it compare to a normal yoke, mate? <laughs> There's no words for it. You couldn't even you wouldn't lift it. You couldn't even, his hands couldn't even get round it, and it just looked like a big massive, like robot coming towards you. It was mental. It was cool. That's the biggest yoke I've seen. Jeez. Like, is it in set or weight? Is in like wide? Because you can't get your hands right round it. It's cool. Special thank you to our good friend. Which that's the heaviest yoke, that's up to 400 kilos. Felt, yeah, super solid. Really, really good. Um, that's actually the easiest 400 felt for me. Solid yokes, I think are easier as well because you're more compact than them. You know, and I think these bigger yokes take a bit when you add heavier, heavier weights on it. So, like, bring on a 600k, yeah. Yoke's finished and now we're on to frame carry. About 300 kg, again there and back, and then job done. carry done so we're going to do some just changing up again so we're going to do some sandbag throws um, and go and do some fingals and then the art of stones so see how it goes so stay tuned for a spicy throwing session think this is going to go in the pit probably
So guys, we're on to the Fingle finger, fiddle, fiddle fingers, <laughs> whatever they're called, Fingle fingers. Uh, big thank you to Cerimax once again for making them. Uh, it's going to be a big benefit in our training. So we're just going to have a wee play about with them and see see how uh, see how we go. Right, wait. That's heavy. How are they? Well, I haven't done them in about four years, five years. You could probably tell. <laughs> That's heavy, that. There's a lot of dense weight. The, the pipe wall thickness is 10 mil thick pipe as well, so. Um, yeah, it's heavy. It'll be interesting. Just technique. I think we need to get some gloves as well. Yeah, I mean, not bad for the first attempt. We did it, so I'm happy. Is it a clean? No, when you're doing that, quickly it'll clean. You'll get underneath it quicker, yeah? Just take your time. Just get it up, try and get it up into your shoulder. There you go, come back. Good Tom. Good Tom. Come on Tom. Just keep your time. Watch those arms. Keep going mate. Let's go Tom. Go. What's your initial impressions Tom? Yeah, it's just getting confident. This is a event that I said I was going to be scared of because in Boss 1 I got like injury and I mean it's just a new event again. I'm just trying to get Technique, you know, um, I know once I get up, it's going to be fine. It's just getting the first bit going, and I mean, I got it all going, and it felt, it felt easy enough. So. But it's just technique, technique, technique. The Serum Max Fingles Finger finished. So, first set, we were a bit tentative, kind of a bit nervous going into it. Tom's touched, he got an injury back in Botswana. Um, but for me, I think the more aggressive you can get with it, you know, boom, 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 boom. Uh, the second one felt so much better. I'm being aggressive. I think that's a word that we need to focus on is aggression, aggression, aggression in everything we do. And we've touched a lot on that talking about it this time, uh, this, this training session. Um, I think as soon as Tom switches his aggression on, I think that's when people get worried. Yeah, it's good. I mean, that's what I've always said is this is the event that if it was in the final, if I got to the final, would be worried. I've got hurt, I'm practicing on that now. And I'll just switch on, but this is the one that I was like, oh, I'm glad I've got it. I can make mistakes in the gym. I know what to do. I know how to improve in seven weeks. If I came up to this at Worlds and never touched it, I could have done what I did in the first you know, set and dropped it and been like, I couldn't do this. So it's good to every week improve on it. And we're going to keep improving. You know, it's same with the Hurtley, same with this. We've got everything we can now for Worlds. So as long as we keep training hard and keep improving, it's going to be good. So. And I think yeah. with the, the added, I think we said it before with the sports psychologist, Amy, um, she's working with us. So she's given us certainly you buzzwords to kind of go into it. So if Tom or even myself went into this without training it, we wouldn't know that words that like, wait, what, pick and, what, what do we do after we pick it up? Do we lock our arms? Do we, is it fast? Is it slow? Do we need to take our time? So getting hands on with this, and then relaying that back to Amy, uh, the psychologist, she can then work on kind of these buzzwords and um, working on her mindset to really attack it and really be, bring out that aggression. Because that's, people see us and people think that we're two kind of nice, happy guys all the time, which we are, you know, but when we're, this is what we're trying to do now, this world's, for me personally, is coming into world's strongest man with that aggression. Like, yeah, I'm still a nice guy, whatever, but I'm not here to make friends because I've made friends already. I'm here to win that title. So that's, that's how my mindset's changed. 
Uh, my friends are my friends and they're always going to be my friends, but I'm here to do a job, just like Thomas, just like Adam Bishop, Alexei Novikov, Brian Shaw, we're all here to do a job and that's to win World's Strongest Man. And, and I think if you go in with that mindset, that's your job and the only thing you... <sighs> The only way of being successful at your job is winning World's Strongest Man. I think if you go into that mindset, I think that really helps. So, big thank you to Amy for kind of, for me changing that way and just teaching myself or teaching me to be a little bit more selfish in that sense, I think. Um, and then I think she's been brilliant. 100%, you, yeah. yeah. I don't want to give everything away, but I just want to, like Amy's good. See, I've got concrete, that's the stuff. That's what you do in your autism, like the words like, on Hercules pull, eh, squeeze hold, squeeze hold. If I, as soon as I hear them, I know exactly what to do. And everything else just gets blocked out, my left hand goes, everything. So it's those wee words I just repeat to myself and it works and I can't wait to kind of put it on in the playing field, you know, because I'm buzzing to get going again. And yeah, Amy's a massive help, massive help, man. Massive. Everything I'm attacking better for, like even log now as well. Um, Everything, you know, not just stones. I usually go aggressive in stones. I'm trying to get aggressive in everything I'm doing now. Even if it's hard, I'm still getting it done, which is the main thing. So we're, we're both on a good good path right now. So. We're on the path to success. With that being said, it's time for Atlas Stones. Let's get it done, boy! On to the last event, the Atlas Stones. So we've got a, ro uh, a run 120, 140, 160, 180 to do. Hopefully it'll go okay today. Apply the tacky, I've not shaved my belly this week. Still a little bit sweaty. Happy? Let's get it done! You can wait with the next table. What's the problem, Tommy, bro? It's just the stones are not... The tacky's not sticking good to the stones for some reason. Um, it's just frustrating. There's not even point trying to 180. As soon as it comes, the sides feel like glass. I mean, like that, there's not... Let's see no tacky there, so... Yeah, it's frustrating, but it is what it is. Right guys, that's our event session done. That's a week of training finished. Good week of training? Yeah, it was good. Very Happy. Good. The weights have gone up again. Everything's kind of increased. My deadlift session this week wasn't the best. Tom has been smashing it. Hopefully, redemption next week. So stay tuned for next week's training. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, smile and stay spicy. Keep ringing that little bell. <laughs>